short form content is taking over social media. And if you are not incorporating TikToks, Instagram reels, and YouTube shorts into your content strategy, you are going to be left in the dust. Now, if that seems a little overwhelming to you and you're not really sure where to start, I have put together a very simple system to help you create more short form content with less stress and less overwhelm. Let's go. What's up guys, AC Evan here with Artist Collective and our mission is to transform artists into artistpreneurs by helping them create profitable music businesses. Now, if that sounds like you, make sure you stick around, smash that subscribe button, and check out the other videos on our channel to help you grow your business today. But today I wanna to talk to you about short form content, all right? Specifically TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. These are all platforms that you need to be on. If you do not have a strategy for your content, on these three platforms, you're missing out. You are missing out on the rush of new fans, new clients, new customers being able to find you because this is where their attention is at. Now, you might feel a little overwhelmed. You know, all these platforms are very nuanced. There's different tips and tricks in regards to how you can post, how you can create, but this three-part framework will work across all platforms when you're creating content. It will help you alleviate some of this stress and overwhelm and help you create content faster and more efficiently. So make sure you stick around for this whole video as I'm gonna be showing you exactly how we're creating content on here and how you can too. So I like to separate my content creation strategy into three sections, pre-production, production, and post-production. Let's talk about pre-production. This is your brainstorming mode, full on research mode. We're not creating anything. We're not hitting record quite yet. All we're doing is gathering ideas and drafts to help us in the future. So I like to do this on the train, on the bus, when I'm laying in bed, while I'm sitting on a couch, maybe even on the toilet, whatever. You can do this anywhere because you don't need to be on or camera ready because we're just thinking of things. What you're gonna do, what I do is I go to my platform of choice to gather these ideas. Let's say TikTok's For You page. The For You page is pretty incredible. It is a supercomputer that knows you better than you do. So if you're active on the platform, it's probably already showing you videos and content creators that you already like, maybe even in your niche. So I like to start there. I like to just start scrolling, but scrolling with intention. My intention is to get inspired, find other messages and ideas and videos that are already being thrown out there. I think, how can I relate this to my niche? How can I put my own authentic spin on this? And also, I look for sounds trending sounds, sounds that I really like. Um, for instance, I use a lot of chill hop sounds. So whatever fits your aesthetic of your brand, but it's a nice balance of trending sounds and sounds that you just enjoy and you wanna try. Maybe even your own music, right? So we're gonna find some sounds, you're gonna find some ideas that you like. The idea here is to create drafts. This is important. What this does is it triggers in your brain that you started something so you need to finish it. A lot of times if you're not doing the drafts, you think of ideas and you're like, oh yeah, I'll do that later, and then you never do it. Creating the drafts, it will always live there, so every time you log in, you'll see those 20, 50 drafts, you're like, oh yeah, I better jump back into that. So I like to use the drafts. So find those sounds or those ideas, press the use sound button, and then create some template video that's just a placeholder in place just so it saves it to the drafts. Then I go in and I add some text on the top of it. This isn't text for the final product. This is just text to signal to my future self, hey, Evan, this is what I was thinking here. Build on top of it when you get to the other phases. A lot of times I'll put ideas or just what I'm thinking in that moment, whatever works for you. So add the text, add that sound, create those ideas for your future self and hit draft. I like to do this 10 times, 15 times, sometimes even 20 times in one sitting. Now you are set up for success. You have 20 new ideas for your content that you can start to create in the next phase. So the production phase is where you will start filming. Get ready to hit that record button. Find yourself a quiet space, boot up your camera, 
turn on your ring light, get your microphone ready. Whatever mindset you need to get yourself into actually filming, you need to do that. Go back into those drafts that you created in the pre-production phase. You've already done all the heavy lifting. You've brainstormed, you've found all of the ideas that you need. Now it's time to hit record. Have fun here. Don't think of creating content as just another chore, another thing you need to do for your business. This is the sauce. This is how you're going to connect with your audience, your fans, your customers, your clients, and bring them and attract them to you. Be yourself here. Be authentic. Take those trending sounds that you that you found and make them your own. I think it's a balance with that. You wanna also use the trending sounds and the trending things that are already working, but you also wanna try new things, right? The thing that you make that's brand new might be the next trend. So balance that as you see fit, but you just ultimately want to have fun. So you're gonna go into that draft, remove that placeholder video that you took of you on the train and record the right video in this space. You do that and then maybe you add some text and you fill that out, but the most important thing here is you do not finish. Do not press that post button quite yet. Just film it, put out some other ideas and hit that draft button one more time before we get to the next phase. So let's recap real fast. In pre-production, we've brainstormed and thought of ideas that we could make. We've gotten inspired from other creators and saved 10 to 15 ideas into our drafts. Then we went into production phase where we actually got ourselves ready and hit record. We created content from those drafts. Now it's time for post-production. This is where we can edit and polish all of these videos that we created. This is where we can have a little fun and trim down these videos, take out the ums and the ahs, maybe make the cuts a little bit faster and punchier. Maybe we add text on the screen or some kind of visuals. I like to add those every few seconds to keep people's attention. We'll also add relevant hashtags to that video. Make sure you're not adding hashtags that have nothing to do with your video. It's not going to help your content at all. Then we add a caption, something compelling. What do we want them to know? Are we telling a story? Are we asking them to go and do something like follow us or comment below or book a call or listen to our music? Make sure we are very clear on what we want our audience to do. Otherwise, they'll probably do nothing. Maybe we add a fancy thumbnail. Ultimately, what we want to do is we still don't want to post. We're going to polish these up one by one and then we'll have 10 to 15 ready to post drafts for all of our platforms. So this is how I create all of my content. By separating it into these sections, it alleviates stress. It alleviates overwhelm. There's so much pressure to actually go from zero to post all in one sitting that a lot of artists and creatives tend to get overwhelmed and they end up doing nothing and they start a project and then they don't finish. So hopefully this three-part system really helps bring content creation in a more approachable way. Separate those out. Maybe it's days in between pre-production and production. For instance, this video idea right here, I thought of weeks ago. I created into a draft just like what I'm talking about until I'm ready to actually produce, which I'm doing for you right now. And I'll probably do post-production in a couple days. So don't feel so pressured to go from zero to post. Separate them out, pre-production, production, post-production. You're gonna feel so much lighter. You're gonna feel like you can create so much more content and be a lot more creative and inspired while doing it. So hopefully you liked this framework. Make sure you drop a comment, tell me what you think. Hit that subscribe button. We are dropping weekly videos here to help you build your music business. I'll see you soon.